What's up everybody, how's it going? So back when I worked at Google, and to be honest this continues to this day, I often had people coming up to me and asking me, hey Clement, what is it that you work on at Google? What do you do? And these were not only people who wanted to work themselves at Google and were just wondering what kind of projects a software engineer at Google might work on, but these were also people, just everyday people, who didn't work in software engineering, who were sort of just wondering, hey, what is it that software engineers at Google work on? Like, do they all work on the YouTube algorithm or Google search? And so I figured that I would make a video on exactly this topic, what I worked on as a software engineer at Google. Now, this video is really going to be a sort of high-level overview of what I worked on as a software engineer at Google. So, of course, I'm not going to dive into anything sort of confidential. I'm not going to dive too much into specifics, but it will give you an accurate picture of what a software engineer at Google can work on and does, and hopefully it'll be an enlightening picture. Now, I do have to give uh, one caveat before I dive into it, which is that this will not necessarily be representative, or actually this will definitely not be representative of what every software engineer at Google works on. Because as you can imagine, there are hundreds, if not thousands of products at Google. There's so many different parts of the sort of technological stack, right? There's the front end, the back end, the infrastructure, the infrastructure under the infrastructure, research. There's all kinds of stuff, right? So you can imagine that uh, no, no single engineer or, or not every engineer works on the exact same thing. So of course what I'm going to be showing you is really what I worked on, not what every Google engineer works on. So with that said, let's dive into it. So my official title at Google was software engineer, period, and I was what's called an individual contributor, meaning I wasn't a manager. Now there is a small asterisk there because I did host a few interns which effectively made them their manager, but putting that aside, which I'll talk about a little bit later in the video, I was just a software engineer, an individual contributor, but I did work on a front-end team, so I guess effectively I was a front-end software engineer. Now, the question that most people really want to know is what product was I working on? Was I working on Gmail? Was I working on YouTube? Was I working on Google Search? Google Home? Uh, what's another big Google product? Was I working on um, Google Hangouts? No. The answer to that is no. I wasn't working on any of these things. I was working on Drum roll, wait for it. I was working on Google Cloud Platform. Now, a lot of you might not know what Google Cloud Platform is. It's basically Google's cloud platform. Let's try that again. So it's essentially a suite of cloud services like compute, storage, networking that Google offers. And another way to put it is it's the equivalent of AWS, Amazon Web Services, for Google. Now, if you still don't know what that is, I'd encourage you to look it up on Google uh, just for a few minutes to, to kind of understand what it is. But so, specifically, I worked on the Google Cloud Console, which is this sort of online platform. I hate how I keep using the word platform, but that's the only way that I know to describe it. It's this online platform that you can use to sort of manage all of these cloud services and products that Google offers. And even more specifically, I worked on one, or actually a couple, but one in particular, uh, one product UI, user interface, on the Google Cloud Console. And so with that, I wanna kind of show you the exact product that I worked on and the exact pages that I developed. So if you go to console.cloud.google.com, you'll be able to access the Google Cloud Console. And so here, I am on the home page of the Google Cloud Console. I'm logged in on our business account for AlgoExpert, because actually the, the funny thing about this is that um, my business, AlgoExpert, we actually run the website on Google Cloud Platform. So uh, we use a bunch of Google Cloud Platform products. You can see here, looks like we're gonna be paying uh, $944.68 to our good friend Google for the month of July. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm using literally the UI uh, that I visited almost every day while at Google when I was working. Uh, that being said, we do not use the product, the specific product that I worked on, because if you if you look at the product, the the products, if you go to the side panel here at the top left, you can see all the products that that um, the Google Cloud Platform sort of offers. There are a lot, there are a lot of products, 
and all the way under big data, uh, you'll find the product that I worked on, which was IoT Core, Cloud IoT. Uh, now, IoT stands for Internet of Things, and the, the very fast pitch for what the product is is basically if you want to connect devices, like imagine, you know, you've got, I don't know, sensors in a factory, or um, smart cars, or smart garbages like you see in uh, cities these days, or, you know, scooters, smart scooters. You might want to connect these devices to the internet, and you want to sort of collect data from them that you can sort of ingest in, uh, in the cloud using a product like Cloud IoT Core. And then you can do a bunch of stuff with that data, maybe uh, store it somewhere, sprinkle machine learning on it, and do cool things. That's sort of the product, Cloud IoT Core. You can, you can imagine why it's not really necessary for Algo Expert, for instance. But so anyway, if you go to this page, you'll see that I have to enable an API. Let's see if this actually works. Let me enable the API for our uh, project. So I jumped ahead by about 10 seconds here while I was enabling the API. But so this here is the sort of uh, main page of the product that I worked on for the past you know, two plus years at Google. Uh, if you are not familiar with the IoT space, a lot of this will not make sense to you. Like you probably won't understand what a registry is, for instance, but you can sort of see all the pages that I worked on. Like if we click here, or we can create a registry, like all of this, you know, I coded a lot of this, a lot of this stuff. So I'll just go ahead and, and create one just to kind of show you guys. Um, so I'm skipping ahead a little bit here because this might be a little bit boring, but you've got a registry here, then you've got like devices. I can, I can create devices. So here you, you can imagine I might like create uh, a, a device that sort of maps to or links to a real physical device. And uh, there you have it. So let's just create one my device YouTube. Uh, I'm not going to put a public key, but I'm just going to create it. And uh, there you go. We have officially sort of used um, the product that I worked on for the past two years uh, at Google. When I was working on this product, I was working as part of a small team of front-end engineers. We also were working very closely with UX designers, UX writers, of course, a lot of back-end engineers and product managers. And yeah, it was a very cross-functional team. Most of my work was done, of course, in sort of Angular, TypeScript, JavaScript. And that's that. So that is the main thing that I worked on as a software engineer at Google, the web UI of the Cloud IoT Core product on the Google Cloud console of the Google Cloud platform. Quick time out here. Uh, this video right now is being sabotaged by the weather. I don't know if you can hear this, but it is raining like crazy. There are huge thunderstorms. You gotta love New York summer weather. Um, but anyway, I hope the audio isn't too bad. I'm going to try to plow through the rest of the video. I apologize if the audio isn't great uh, or if there's a bunch of like clutter noise in the background. So what I wanted to add was that I really had an amazing time working on Cloud IoT Core and on this product, on the UI, on Google Cloud Platform. And I really want to, I really want to emphasize uh, something that I talked about in my recent video with Tech Lead about the myths of working at fan companies, which was this idea that oftentimes the most sexy products, you know, for Google, think about Google Search, YouTube, uh, Gmail, they might not necessarily be the best products to work on. Or rather, working on an unsexy product, and here, you know, I'm going to probably categorize Google Cloud Platform or IoT Core as maybe, a le you know, an unsexy product just because fewer people have heard about it. I would wager that most of my audience here watching this, you know, maybe 50% of you have heard of Google Cloud Platform and probably just a handful, if any of you have heard of Cloud IoT Core. You know, I don't think any college student graduates, graduates saying, I want to work on the web UI of Google Cloud Platform. But, um, it doesn't really matter that the product is sexy or not because I had an amazing team, awesome coworkers, awesome managers, and I got to work in a really sort of fast-paced environment within a big tech company. I had a lot of responsibility, and overall, I just had a great time. So all that to say, this was an awesome sort of project to work on. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned that I hosted interns at Google, and I wanted to touch on that for a little bit. So I hosted three interns, as well as an engineering resident at Google. An engineering resident is basically a junior engineer going through some sort of rotational program. And when I was hosting these people, 
My job was a bit different than my normal job. I was still working on the same product. I was still working on the Cloud IoT Core UI on Google Cloud Platform. But instead of being a software engineer sort of writing the code for that UI, I was a manager to these people, scoping out their projects, making sure that they completed the projects, making sure that they had a great time at Google, mentoring them, and so on and so forth. So, you know, the more accurate answer to what did you work on at Google is I worked on IoT Core UI on the Google Cloud Platform, both as a software engineer building out the UI, but also as a sort of, uh, you know, short-lived manager for interns and junior engineers uh, working on that same UI. With that said, that's gonna be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it shed some light on what a software engineer at Google might work on. I apologize again for the rain and let me know what you thought about the video in the comments below. I read all of them, I try to answer most of them. In fact, recently, in one of my, in one of my recent videos, I mentioned uh, or I asked you all to caress the like button and someone answered and said that they would only smash the like button. So I guess we're back to smashing it. Smash the like button. I'll see you in the next one.